What do you like best about the sport? Uh, I like how off the wall it is and how intense it is. Like, I mean, if you would ask me a year ago if I would have been doing roller derby, I would have probably laughed in your face. But actually doing it and stuff, it's really fun because it is just like off the wall. And it's like, I don't know, whenever I do it, it's almost like a free, a freeing kind of experience just because you're doing something that is so... It just requires a lot from your body and from your mind because you have to know what to do with your body and with your mind to do the, like everything you do on the skates when you're skating backwards or you're learning the falls or you're hitting someone. It's just really intense and really outgoing. Did you know how to skate before? Uh, no, I was one of the people who zero skating experience, like absolutely no. But now, I mean, I can skate on one foot around the track. I can skate backwards. I can skate forwards. I can skate all kinds of ways. They really taught me. How long did it take you to learn how to skate and be able to skate with the team? Um, I started in the beginning of June and I actually passed my bout test two weeks ago. So, I mean, it took about just about two months to learn how to take all the hits and do all the falls and skate at the level you're supposed to be skating. Okay. Uh, what... Talk to me about like a team atmosphere. You have to, you get through everybody. Everybody has to work together. Talk mm -hmm. to me about that. You have to work with everybody because, I mean, in the game, you have four blockers and one jammer. Just put like in layman's terms, there's four people trying to block the other team's jammer. And you have to know how to stay together to block the other team's jammer, not to get through you to get those points. You have to work together. You have to practice together to know how to stay together and how everyone else skates. Uh, the atmosphere is pretty fun. The girls are all you know, really fun, really funny. We all get along together. Uh, some of them are a little bit more intense than others. Some people are, you know, just live, eat, breathe derby, which is good for the team. So you train, you do all this stuff. What do you get out of this for yourself? I mean, I have like began this and like, I feel like I'm coming away with like, you know, a bunch of like sisters just because we've all meshed like so well together and we all care about each other and we all spend so much time together that you really have you just like form this bond with this team and you're just all together and you want to win this together you want to do good for each other you want to do good for yourself and it just makes you feel good to know that there's people there that are working for the same thing you're working for and you know it keeps you in shape so that's good <laughs> and just gives you a self or a sense of self-satisfaction just knowing that you're doing something good for yourself and stuff that, you know, your roller derby sisters appreciate too, just as much as you do. And the people that come to the bouts appreciate it too. It's just nice to know you have a bond like that. Um, so people who don't know, there's a lot of work that goes into this. So there? Oh yeah, there is a lot of work. You have to, I mean, you pretty much have to work your butt off. Like you said, you have to learn how to skate if you don't know how. There's a lot of endurance, a lot. You have to skate a lot on skates there's a lot of off skate training too you have to do a lot of stretching a lot of practicing it's when you leave practice you're pretty sore i'm not gonna lie your legs are pretty sore your butt's pretty sore you can get hurt from being hit at practice or doing whips the first time i ever did a whip i got laid out flat on my back and it hurt <laughs> but is this as far as workouts go is this maybe equal to a uh, uh a spinning class but more fun? Definitely. What, what the hell is a spinning class? It's you ride the bike. Yeah. I would say or kickboxing. Several, or... yeah. It's a lot more intense. You've got a lot of um, entertainment areas where you can go <laughs> in the Ville on a, on a Saturday night. Why should they come out and watch your team? Roller derby is a full contact sport. We're a family friendly event. Um, so our tickets um, for 10 and under are going to be free, so bring your family. Um, but it's a really exciting, fast-paced game that's really exciting to watch. If they show up, what are they going to see? <laughs> um, you'll see local people, including teachers from Kirksville High School, so you might recognize some friendly faces. Um, and we also have some college teachers as well, so college students, come watch your teachers um, bout against some other people. Um, but you'll see a uh, high energy, um, fast paced sport. Are we gonna see blood and guts? We're not quite that tough. Um, hopefully we won't see any bad injuries. Um, we try to play safe and we wear protective gear, but injuries still happen. Um, there's gonna be a lot of hard hits, um, but hopefully no blood.
<laughs> the point of this sport is obviously to get more points than your opponent. How do you do that? We Each team um, has a point scorer. They're called the Jammer. And they try to pass as many people from the opposing team um, in the two-minute jam as possible. There's four blockers that they have to pass from the opposing team. And if you do that legally, um, if you are the first one out of the pack of blockers, then you get head jammer and you can call off the jam at any time. So that can be very advantageous um, to being able to score more points than your opponent. Are these bouts high scoring or low scoring? You want to get the highest score. So you want to... But, oh, um, they range... Is it going to be 40 to 30 or is it going to be 10 to 6? Oh, they're going to be high. Um, there are... Each jam lasts two minutes um, in a period, and each period lasts 30 minutes. And so if you're passing four people on a team, each time you go around in that two minutes, you're going to get some of the scores are up into the hundreds. So if a jam lasts two minutes, do you have, do you put another new team on every two minutes? Um, we switch out our players, yes. Some of the players will stay on the track, um, but in order to not wear out each person, um, we switch out who's on the track each time. So you'll see a different jammer jamming on each jam um, so that they have the endurance to keep going the whole bout. How do you get people that can skate? I mean, do you get them from Sonic or what do you do? <laughs> How do you do that? We have Norseling practices on Wednesday nights at 7 where we train people how to skate that have never skated before. We also have some people in our league that have um, skating experience. Maybe they skated as a teenager, but they haven't skated in years, but it comes back to them. Um, or we've got some speed skaters and some dance skaters. Um, but we're definitely willing to train you, and Norseling practices are a lot of fun. What's the best thing you like about the sport? I personally like that anywhere that I move, I can join a roller derby team and meet a great group of women that will accept me as family. Um, I've moved a few times in the past couple of years, and each time I joined a roller derby team in the area, um, it's the fastest growing sport in the nation, so most towns are popping up with leagues, and they're great women to be friends with. Are you in witness protection? <laughs> okay. okay, fine. That's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, your name, spell it for me. Uh, Danielle Martell, D A N I E L L E M A R T E L, and my derby name is Blunt Force Mama. Do you hear me spell that? No, yes? No? Okay. Uh, okay, Mama. Why do you uh, <laughs> one? Why do you have why do you have names? Um, well, it's kind of derby. Uh, it's kind of like your alternate personality. A lot of times, what? They're like superhero. Names. They're kind of like yeah. Like so they're they're like superhero they're names. Also, okay. Also, okay. So why why do you uh, why do you have names? Um, well, it's kind of like a, an alter ego uh, or a superhero, if you will. Uh, lots of women, um, it's almost like they need permission to get angry sometimes. And in Derby, we want you to be mm, tough and aggressive. Uh, and so women kind of choose these names as their alternate personality so that they uh, can be someone different on the track almost you know we, we have like I said I think Lisa mentioned we've got some high school teachers we've got some college professors that maybe don't get the chance to be mm, as outspoken as aggressive as they want to be so uh, on the track they can be hard-hitting they can be aggressive and then they can go home to their kids and be moms uh, and and wives I think it provides a really awesome outlet um, for us as women <laughs> and people what do you like best about the sport? Um, I I came to Derby. I, I moved back to Kirksville from Oregon. I came to Derby out in Oregon, and I was really looking for a great group of women to be involved with. And that really, Derby tends to draw that. Um, a lot of great, diverse people um, who are really friendly. Um, and I, I like that um, about the sport, that it's kind of a very close-knit community. Um, everybody's friends with everybody else. And um, I mean, 
that drew me and then the athleticism. Um, I mean, you have to be an athlete to do this. Um, you know, we work really hard, we train really hard to be able to do this sport. And if you come and watch it, you will understand why. It's essentially rugby on roller skates. So it's pretty intense. <laughs> Talk to me about the training a little bit. What goes into that? Um, well, we practice. We have three practices um, a week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights from 7 to 9. Um, it involves a little bit of, of off-skates training as well as our skating practice. The off-skates is to get our muscles prepared, to get us strengthened, to be able to do what we need to be able to do on skates. Um, you know, we have to be really strong in our core and our quad, um, and then in our shoulders to be able to take the hits that we're going to be uh, taking and also giving hopefully um, but uh, we do a lot of endurance skating I mean the jams only last two minutes but a lot of times we have players out there for you know the entire game the entire bout so you have to be able to be um, skating and agile uh, be able to move uh, uh, across the track through that whole time so it takes a lot of endurance and speed Injuries so. happen. <laughs> yes, You're they do. A, a prime <laughs> example of that. Tell me about your injury. Um, well, actually, it happened. It did not happen in a bout situation. It happened at a practice, and actually, I was trying to perfect a, a stop, a move that we do um, that is important for us to be able to do. Um, and uh, came down on my wrist. Uh, I had a fracture. So uh, it is not uncommon to have those types of injuries happen. But we, like uh, Lisa said, we try to skate really safe. We do wear a lot of protective gear, wrist guards, elbow pads, knee pads. Um, and then one of the main things that we teach our beginning players is how to fall. You know, they really teach the basics of how to be safe. We want our skaters to be safe. Um, we want to make sure that we have good, well-rounded skaters. We don't want anyone to get hurt. And actually, there is um, a basic skills test that we all have to pass in order to be able to bout. So you have to be able to stop. You have to be able to, um, you know, pass all these minimum skills so that you're safe to bout, so that you're not going to be um, injuring yourself or other people.